G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today I've got the uh, Feiyu FY04 ATV or quad bike out today. Haven't ran this for a while so I thought I'll bring it out, have a bit of fun with it. So yeah, I've had this uh, RC for about three years now. A good friend of mine over east in uh, Victoria, Jack, uh, from RC Activated. That's his uh, new channel. He used to have a channel called Epic RC Video Productions. And um, I'll leave a link to his uh, channel in the description below. Go check him out. Go say hi to him. Subscribe to his channel. He makes some really good content, guys. So, uh, yeah, Jack sent me this, uh, like I said, about three years ago. Um, it wasn't running. Uh, he only had it for a, about a year or so. He hardly used it. So what happened with this one, um, he sent it over. I ended up sending him a, a RC crawler in return. You know, because uh, he'd done a nice gesture by sending me this one out. He basically said to me, you know, Dave, if you can fix it up and get it running, I'll uh, send it over to you, you know. So that's exactly what I did. Uh, the transmitter and receiver wouldn't bind no longer, and he told me that. He couldn't get it going. It would just stop working all of a sudden. So uh, he said, see what you can do with it. Maybe you can get it running and uh, fix it up. So I did test it out. The Feiyu controller and the Feiyu uh, original receiver ESC combo uh, wasn't working so I tested it out with a different transmitter off another Feiyu FY03 this is the FY04 as you can see there's 04 and it happened to be the receiver was faulty so uh, what I had laying around was uh, WL Toys 12428 uh, brand new receiver for that and that's what I've basically done so it's running off WL Toys protocol now I'm using the standard uh, old school WL Toys remote with this one. Now I've done a few videos with this one. Uh, I ran an FPV long distance. I'll leave some uh, links at the top right hand corner of the screen. I, got, I think I went out nearly 350 meters uh, using my goggles. I had a 500 or 600 milliwatt uh, VTX strapped to the back of this fella. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it went pretty far. I had to, I had to turn back because there was a dead end wall. So. Yeah, I've done videos with that, uh, with the, using the Jumper T8SG remote with a V202 protocol off the standard uh, receiver that this one runs on. So I thought I'll take it out again uh, on this field here, have a bit of fun with it. I've got a large 2S in it, it's a 4000 milliamp power. I've also put a light kit on this one as well, I've made a video on that. Um, yeah, so it's got a 4000 milliamp power 2S in it. So we'll take it for a run, I haven't taken it out for a while. And uh, might grab my ramp as well and uh, take for a bash on the ramp. First off, we'll take it for a bit of a run just on this field. I really like the look of this uh, RC. It looks really scaled with the uh, rider on it. This runs off a uh, 380 brushed motor. And they're pretty rare to find these days. They're almost, uh, I think they're like discontinued. So, um, I have a look on AliExpress. I'm pretty sure I saw one on AliExpress, but it wasn't cheap. I've changed the wheels and tires on this one to uh, PX Toys uh, 9204E tires. You see there, they're color coded. I thought it looks a bit better with them. So it runs pretty good. Um, I think WL Toys makes a very similar one. Well, they used to make a similar one as this, except it had no rider on it. I might look one of those up and see if I can get one of those models. I believe the WL Toys version is a 540 brush. I think it was called the 12428A, something like that. All right, guys, so I might get the ramp out, have a bit of fun, see how it jumps. It actually looks pretty funny when it jumps, especially with a rider on it. So I'll get the ramp out. And, uh...
definitely needs a 3S. 